Hey, welcome back to Bear Squid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I want to show you if you're using an iPad with Google Meet, then scrap the app. So really, if you're a student and you don't need to share your screen, then go ahead and use Safari instead of the app. Now, let me show you what the situation is. So um, the, I've got a Meet here. I want to go ahead and join a Meet, okay? I'll put my Meet code in here. It's, let me just put the code in here. Okay, so I'm gonna join this me. Uh, make sure that my mic is off because because uh, I've got like several uh, devices in the same room and I don't want them to echo. Yeah. So here we go. Look, uh, there's Mr. Fox. There's Mr. Frog, and uh, I don't know who that is, Dino, Mr. Dino or something. Yeah. Now the thing is with the app. Okay, if you're using the iPad app on Google Me. Um, you don't see everyone. What you do is you see the main speaker who's talking and then you see everyone on the side. Now I've only got four participants here, myself and three other people. And so um, it, it's not that bad, yeah? But the minute you end up getting, you know, 15 or 30 uh, people, participants on the screen, you can't keep a track on who's there. And if, especially if you don't need to, your student and you don't need to share your screen. If you're in that position where you never end up, end up using your, sharing your screen, this is what I want you to do. Go ahead, end this meet. Uh, get rid of the app. So go ahead and delete the app off of your iPad. Okay, delete the app off your iPad straight away and then go to Safari. Okay, so jump onto Safari and uh, go to Google Meet. Remember, we don't have the app anymore. We've deleted the app. Okay, so I want to go ahead and I want to sign in here. So let's go ahead and join that Meet. It's N U N. What was the code? O E J. So now we're using Safari's web browser, okay? Uh, it's gonna tell you, do you want it to use your mic and the camera? Yes, we do. And we already have little participants here. We're gonna go ahead and join, okay? So now we're joining um, the meet here. I'm gonna make sure that I put myself on mute because it does, it's gonna reverb here. Okay, so now look, now that I'm, uh, I'm using Safari, uh, the web browser app, okay? I'm not using the actual uh, iOS or iPadOS app. I'm using Safari's browser. Okay, so I've just gone to the browser and I've typed in Google Meet. And now look at this. I, I've got a grid of everyone here. If I had more participants, then I would, the grids would be smaller and I would see more people here. The benefit as well of using this, if your teachers or whoever the host is, if they're using um, polls, uh, Q and A's, or breakout rooms, you have access to that here. Look, you have access to uh, the polls if your teachers put up a poll here. Okay, or the, the Q&A section. So if you want to ask a question or your teacher opens up the Q&A for you, you can go ahead and use that. Okay, and of course, breakout rooms. Um, oh, I've logged in as the host anyway, so I've, I've got this available to myself. However, if you're a student and you're signing in, uh, then you'll have these available to you. Now, here's another benefit as well, yeah? So remember, this is on the iPad. This is specific to the iPad, okay? And what I've done is I've deleted that the actual app from the app store and I'm using the web browser. I'm using Safari's web browser. Okay, or uh, <laughs> iPadOS Safari browser. Um, here's another thing. So now let's just say I need to do either a write up, I'm writing a document or whatever. Okay, what I can do is I can like sideload another app here. So I don't know, let's bring in notes here. Okay, what I would typically be doing here is, uh, if I go full screen here, then, you know, you're, you're on an iPad, you can start typing here. And the brilliant thing is, because you're using the browser, okay, you're logged in to Google Meet on the browser, your camera is still live, and you can still see all the participants, okay? So Mr. Frog's there, Mr. Fox is there, and uh, Dino is, is also there. Now, I can keep taking my notes, so what the teacher's, teacher's talking about... Um, history lesson okay history lesson 101 and we're talking about how i don't know how historians change history or uh curate data or whatever the case may be yeah the point is we can side load uh, on the ipad okay and still have your camera on as well as see all the other participants this is brilliant do this now here's the caveat there is a caveat there always is okay let's get rid of uh, this split screen okay the thing is, don't do this as a host or don't do this if you know that you're going to have to share your screen because unfortunately, iPadOS, okay, and Google Meet have not uh, worked on this together. I don't know why, but they haven't figured this out. If you go to present now and you share your entire screen, you get this error message. You can only share your screen if you're using the iPadOS 
application or the iOS application or the Android application. You can't do it in the browser. You can only do it in the browser on uh, either a Chromebook or uh, a PC or Mac, okay? So that's why I said the caveat in the beginning is that if you're a student, you're not the host and you don't need to share your screen, then ditch the app on iPadOS and use Safari's browser because look, like I said, I can sideload here. I can even, forget sideload, I can use um, this floating, uh, what do you call this? Oh, this is sideloading. Yeah, this is sideload, yeah? So I can have um, my notes here as well as you know, see all the participants. To be honest, I prefer to have it split screen like this and you can change the ratio to your split screen as well. So we can keep on writing. And since you're on an iPad, as a student, you can annotate and write down, you know, using your Apple Pencil if you've got one. So I can go ahead and I can uh, start, you know, jotting down my notes as the teacher's talking, as well as having my camera on, seeing all the other participants. If the teacher is sharing a screen here, so if, if, if the host is sharing a screen, you'll be able to see the screen as well as um, uh, everything else as well. Let me go ahead and do that as the host and I'll show you what's happening here, yeah? So here you can see that the host is now sharing uh, their screen, okay? So I don't know, they're sharing YouTube here. Uh, the host is sharing the screen. You can see still all the participants here and you still can uh, take your notes as a student. You're still taking your notes, you're scribbling or whatever you're doing. If you're a student or you're a participant on Google Meet and you're not presenting your screen and using an iPad, I know there's a lot there, then uh, try giving Safari a go instead of the app, okay? So ditch the app and use Safari. If ever you do need to share your screen, like I, I share my screen, I use my iPad every day I use the app when I know that I'm going to be in a meeting um, and I want to sideload something and I want to work with it uh, like some uh, meeting notes okay or an agenda then I'll uh, ditch the app and I'll use Safari and I would sideload and you look at the agenda the meeting notes or the Padlet or whatever I need to do as well as have my camera on at the same time so that was a power tip. Give it a go yourself. Consider subscribing. There's so many uh, EdTech videos that I've done. Check out the playlists and some of the videos uh, on the channel. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.